Our eighth speaker is Bob Moll. Childhood Saving Time. I like to think big. So today, I'm going to explain all of life itself. Ready? It goes like this. <laughs> Youth, adulthood, older age. Now there is a problem with this sequence. First, I'm going to describe the problem. Then, I'll develop a solution. Finally, I'll give my conclusion. So let's begin by looking at the timeline for a typical life, starting with youth. Your fondest memories come from childhood, right? It's your time to play, grow, explore, discover, learn, taste your first kiss. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. And at 18, you get your first taste of real freedom. College, the last great hurrah of youth. Then comes adulthood, and the problems start. Fun and games are over. You get a job, get a salary, pay bills, pay taxes, get married, have babies, change diapers, change jobs, get fired, get divorced, see a therapist, get a secretary, get hair plugs, and before you can catch your breath, here you are. <laughs> As Mel pointed out. Hallelujah! Now you finally get to do all those things you never had time to do. With a body that's too tired to do them. Life doesn't have to go like this. <coughs> I came up with my brilliant solution after reading two news stories. The first one was about daylight saving time, when we reset our clocks to gain longer time in the sun. It's like cutting off one end of a rug and sticking it on the other end to make the whole thing longer. <laughs> Nobody knows why this works, but it does. The second story, totally unrelated, explained how medical advances allow us to live longer. Nearly a century ago, our life expectancy was 60 years. Today, it's about 80. Now, these two stories combined in my mind in a brainstorm revelation. Yes, it is fantastic. Doctors are giving us two extra decades. <laughs> but hey, they're sticking them onto the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> so I invented childhood saving time. Take those extra years <laughs> and put them where they make the most sense. <laughs> Longer time in the fun. <laughs> Let's take a look at that timeline now. <laughs> Daycare lasts through puberty. <laughs> you don't even start school until you're old enough to drive yourself there. <laughs> You've got a car and no responsibilities except to show up for Miss Christina's class without a hangover <laughs> and recite your ABCs. <laughs> Life is sweet. From grade school in your mid-teens to grad school in your late thirties. <laughs> and you get to stretch college out for a dozen years. 
eh, keep changing majors until you find yourself. Of course, once you graduate, the free ride is over. Your bank loans start coming due, your credit cards are maxed out, your girlfriend's biological clock is tick, 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 tick. <laughs> it's time for you to become a responsible adult. <laughs> well, life begins at 40. <laughs> so you get a job at a higher salary because wages have gone up in the meantime. <laughs> you marry a girlfriend, start a family. You don't get divorced because A, your marriage is still young, and B, you're too old. <laughs> now as I conclude, I can hear your thoughts. Sure, Bob, it's a fun fantasy, but totally unrealistic. No, not totally, because the spirit behind childhood saving time can inspire you to real choices. For example, no matter what your age, you can choose to borrow one year from future retirement and turn it into a sabbatical today. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Take a trip around the world. Write that book. Go back to college. Get your company to pay for it this time. <laughs> or you can choose to extend the magic of childhood through your entire life by celebrating every day with moments of wonder and joy. Do you dare play like a kid again? Just a few minutes every day. Whenever I see I've still got time left on my clock, I want to spread the joy of a child. How about you? Will you use the time left on your clock to stay young at heart? Keep the spirit alive. The winner of the 2008 District 59 International Speech Contest and a one-way ticket to Calgary, Alberta. The man introduced daylight saving time to youth. Bob